Here with reaction, California Congressman Devin Nunes. Oh, Congressman Nunes, that looks like a John Deere behind him. Hmm, tractor. Some, one of the great American companies we have. He comes from a family of three generations of farmers and still farms today, along with California farmer. Matthew Leiter is with us. Good to see you. Uh, Matthew, I will defer to you. Now, I don't know. I'm not a farmer, but I have a deep respect for the science behind farming, the, the, the chemical composition of the soil, what you do in drought years, when you have certain diseases that pop up, uh, creating stronger, more vibrant uh, products for the American people. Um, I would think it's a little more complicated than the way Mayor Bloomberg or Farmer Mike described it. Would you like to educate him? Oh, absolutely, Sean. Um, if Mr. Bloomberg would like to come to Tulare County, I'd be happy to lend him a pair of my boots and he could follow me around for three days and show him just how much science and uh, government relations and government going through the regulations on how just to every day turn on the water, irrigate our crops, uh, do pest and disease prevention. I mean, it's it. And what, it, what do you farm a, out there? An entire group of people with way smarter. Matt, what do you I farm? farm citrus and almonds. Uh, what and almonds? Citrus and almonds. Awesome. Because you know what? We citrus. need that food. Oranges and lemons. Yeah. Well, l let me tell you. I've never had a better orange in my life than when I lived in California and picked it right off a tree. Uh, for a kid from New York, that was a pretty cool Best experience. Best oranges for the in the United time. States. Yeah. Uh, Congressman Nunes, I did not know that your family was involved in the farming industry for all these years. Tell us about your background with this. Well, thank you, Sean. If you remember about 10 years ago, you came out here to the valley to look at the irrigation systems. This is the San Joaquin Valley. We're the breadbasket of the solar system, we like to say. 300 different crops grow here, uh, and it takes a hell of a lot of experience to, to do it. Uh, generations of farmers, uh, it's very scientific, as you said. Uh, Mike Bloomberg seems to think that this is just like, you know, buying a Chia pet at Walmart uh, and putting some water on it. Uh, that's not how this works. It is, it is quite complicated, and it's not just the farmers. It's, it's, it's getting that food safely all the way to a grocery store in Manhattan so that it doesn't poison someone. So there's a lot to, that goes into it. And, and look, I, I, this is really on the crazy meter. Uh, as you just said, if Donald Trump would have said anything like this, he would be hounded at nauseam until he retracted the, a crazy statement. And, and you probably won't see anybody uh, approach him at the debate tomorrow night about his crazy statements. Well, can I ask you, uh, all right, so we have him taking multiple shots against minorities and women and farmers needing more gray matter. Uh, we're about to report some breaking news about comments he's made in the past about gays, lesbians, transgender individuals. He's under fire for referring to transgender women as some guy wearing a dress using it, it as a pronoun. I don't know, how's that going to go over with the Democratic base, uh, Devin? Well, look, they're in disarray right now. I think they were in, in denial that Socialist Bernie had a chance to win the nomination. And what's happened here is, is that, and I've said this before, they're the party, they're like the dog that caught the car. So they've been letting this socialism you know, leach out all over the country in our big city, so much so they've poisoned their own, their own voting base to where now Bernie Sanders, the poll just came out just hours ago, is doubling up his nearest opponent uh, here in California. He's winning Nevada. Uh, so look, I think it's highly likely Bernie is their nominee. That's why they're now, the Democrats and the, and the establishment in the Democratic Party, they're pleading for Bloomberg, just spend more of your millions. We got to stop Bernie. That's what's happening, Let me, now, I believe. So the president, I believe, Congressman Nunes, rightly so, is frustrated and now speaking out. We have all this evidence, premeditated fraud, FISA court, using Hillary's bought and paid for dirty dossier with funnel money to a law firm. Could be a campaign finance issue. She never got in trouble for the Espionage Act and having classified information on a server, nor did she get in trouble for subpoenaed emails that she deleted and acid wash with bleach bit, and then, of course, the hammers with the devices. Then, of course, not only premeditated fraud, but they spied on a, a presidential candidate a transition team deep into a presidency. Now I understand there's also the outsourcing of spying abroad to allied intelligence agencies to circumvent American laws. President, I think, has a right to be frustrated because it seems like 
and I'm not, I'm not yeah. I, I, I believe, I believe the attorney general is doing his job. I really believe it. I think he's getting to the bottom of it. I think it's a hard yeah, dig, but uh, I understand the president's frustration also. Yeah, the president is actually, Sean, is going to be here tomorrow. He's going to be out in the San Joaquin Valley tomorrow, uh, and I'm going to have a chance to talk to him. I'm sure we, this will come up on, you know, what is the FISA court going to look like in the future? That's something that's, that's got to be fixed. Uh, this two-tier justice system that we have in this country is it's just history. totally unacceptable. But, but back to the, to the topic, you were talking about irrigation technology. You were out here 10 years ago. Delta the smelt. president of the United States campaigning came out here to the Valley, valley two times. Uh, and he understands that, that, that water is the key to life. He understands these projects are very important. So he's going to be coming out tomorrow to announce, mm. you know, even in California, uh, he's going to come out here and announce that he's going to open up more water for farmers. That That's Mike Blur Bloomberg may not understand, we actually need water to farm here in this, in this yeah, region. Yeah, good old farmer Mike. Uh, Congressman, thank you. Matt, thank you and thank you to all the farmers that feed the entire country that work so hard under difficult conditions, mastering the science of agriculture at such a sophisticated level. Uh, the only people that seem to need gray matter are the people that have no clue where their food comes from. Thank you for all you do every day.